I came to Kajabi after having been with a million and a half different softwares. Basically, my entire business lives on Kajabi. Welcome to Impact Summit. So excited to be here. Are you guys pumped? Awesome, awesome. This is going to be an amazing, amazing weekend. We've got so many things planned for you. So excited you're here with us. Um, let me tell you right at the beginning what this event is not. We didn't want you to come in, spend your time, get you all in a room, and just tell you how great Kajabi is, okay? We don't need to do that. We didn't want to come and try to sell you a bunch of stuff. That's not what you're here for. Okay, we created this event for you guys, okay? You guys are the heroes of the story, and we wanted to bring you all together. And so I wanted to talk to you a couple minutes this morning, after the clicker works, about that clicker. <laughs> we did not create this clicker. <laughs> we did not do that. Clicker is not working, but you know what? We're going to talk anyways. Um, so, you guys are the heroes of the story, and you guys are the reason that we're here. We want to solve for your success at every minute along the way, and that's what we live and breathe. And so, let me ask you guys a question. How many of you have family or friends who have no idea what you guys do? <laughs> okay. Okay. Me too. I, I've tried to explain it, and they don't get it. They don't get it, and they just, they, something with a computer, and I don't know, and, and I know you guys are probably the same way, but you guys decided that you didn't want to go the traditional job route, but you wanted to harness the power of the internet, and you wanted to build something, right? You all have a passion. You all have an expertise, so di much diversity here, and you guys wanted to harness the power of the internet in order to get it, share your message out there with the world. And so we created this event to solve that problem of your family and friends having awkward conversations and asking you every time they see you what it is you do. We wanted to bring you all together. And we wanted you to meet each other, to recharge, and to walk away with actionable steps that are really, really going to help your business. And so that's why we're here. We've got an amazing weekend, like I said. We've got some amazing speakers lined up. We've brought in and called all our friends, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. And the reason why we chose these speakers, let me catch up here. We got a black screen. Whoa, awesome. Yes, thank you. So don't know what's going on with this, but 
<laughs> we chose these speakers for a reason, because they were all where you were at one point, and they've all went on to create amazingly successful businesses. And so we wanted to bring them here to impart their wisdom on you and to encourage you and to get you unstuck if you're feeling stuck and to really just get to the next level in your business, wherever you might be. And so that's, that's the point. And you are going to learn so much, and we've got some fun and amazing speakers lined up for you. And so, man, I have some cool things I wanted to show you up here. Well, we will talk through. This is really weird. Um, ah, nope. <laughs> you know, I'm assuming this is a joke planned by our president, my good friend, Jake Ron. He's probably back there doing that because this is my first event ever, right? <laughs> first event. And... You know, you have to have a story about your first event. So, well done. Kudos, Jake Ron. Awesome. Oh, look at this. And now, it, see? See? Aren't those beautiful? I mean, it's so color. Oh, no. So, wow, wow, wow. Okay. So, and guys in the back, can you put it on that rehearse mode, please? Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Here we go. So this is what I've learned in this business. I've got this unique blessing and opportunity to witness thousands of businesses. And I can see the inner workings of them. I can see what's working, what's not working. And I've noticed one thing, and that is people come to Kajabi when it's time to get serious about their business, right? Kajabi, it's not even our goal that it's the first tool that you use for your business, or even the only tool, although we like that. We see people coming to Kajabi when they're ready to hunker down and have success. And that's really, really what we're here for. And we have this phrase at the office, we always joke about it, all roads lead back to Kajabi. And so it's so funny, we don't have many people that are leaving Kajabi, which is awesome, but when they do leave, nine times out of 10, we know they're gonna be back. Like, let, let them go kind of see what's out there and tinker around elsewhere, and then they say, wait, I need to get serious. Kajabi is in business for my business, and so we're going to do that. And they come back, and it's awesome. So here's some stats for you, and this is amazing because Kajabi is really changing lives, right? We have Kajabi customers in 120 countries around the world. <laughs> lives, lives are being changed all over. These are, our, our, these are you guys and, and all over the world, and they're sharing their knowledge with people, and they're having success doing it. And I'm not talking about a little success. I'm talking about a lot of success. Over $700 million in online sales from our customers. And, yeah. And they're able to make this money from wherever they want, right? They're not tied to an office. They could be at their kitchen table, right? They could be at a Starbucks, and they could be on a motorcycle trek around the country. These are all true stories. We've seen this and we've heard about this. And it's just amazing to see. And so it's not just our customers making money. It's not just about that, right? There's a greater vision. And so many of you have a greater vision for your business than just making money. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Check this out. 28 million students have learned from you guys, from our Kajabi heroes. 28 million people from all around the world that are just consuming pixels, really, when you think about it, on a screen, and you guys are imparting your knowledge to them, and they're being changed, and they're learning things from parenting tips to addiction recovery techniques to, you know, uh, man, there's so many horse ballet. I mean, anything you could think of. Seriously, it's called dressage, right? And, and we have customers killing it, teaching horse ballet. And and then how to build a business. So we've got customers that are teaching others to build businesses and to share their passions and their message. And so I couldn't be more proud of this number of the people that are served. We also are changing lives internally here at Kajabi. We've got 93 members on the Kajabi team now worldwide. 93. And, and lives are being changed inside too. We talk to our team, we've got the best team on the planet, and we talk to them, and it's not just a job for them, right? They, they all have the passion 
for our customer success. They all do. And it's so amazing to see. And so we hear story after story where this is the, mo- this is the place they want to be because they want to help you guys. And so that's awesome. And then finally, here we are, Impact Summit. This is the culmination of lots, lots of planning and lots of just dream casting, right? This is our first ever live event, like I said. And yeah. And because of that, here's my little disclaimer. It's our first event, right? So (laughs) things are going to happen. And that was not planned, but things are going to happen. And in a minute, I'm going to call some team members from Kajabi up to stage to share some things with you. And remember, this is their first event too. So this is going to be fun for you guys to watch. But give them some love, right? We aren't in the business of putting on a show. That's not what we do. We are through and through a software company and That's what we do, and we just want to build the tools for you guys to build your businesses. And so I wanted to show you this, though, a little bragging. Our first event, we sold 1,138 tickets. 100, sorry, 1,138 tickets, and it's just surreal. Um, I could go to the slide. So I I know you might, well, hold on. It's a surreal moment, and it's been kind of casual. I need to take a selfie. Let's take a selfie real quick. All right. I got to do this. Okay, cheer or something. All right, sorry. I just had to do it. I've seen people do that. I'm like, someday I just want to do that. Okay, so you might be, ooh, that that was good. So, You might be sitting there and saying, okay, well, that's cool. You know, those speakers that are going to be on the stage, they have it all together. And Kenny and the Kajabi team, this is some master plan, and it's an event. I've been to events before. And I just want to let you know, this this is not a master plan, right? It didn't, this wasn't always in my head, although years ago I envisioned this very moment. It's not that all roads led to this moment, right? We've, I was right where you guys were, okay? And so before we dive into, you know, the, the, specifics of building your business, and you hear all these great speakers, I just wanted to kind of take you back and and show you where this all started and kind of what you can learn from that, because I didn't have it all together this whole time, right? We started nine years ago, and it's been a journey, and I wanted to kind of take you along with me on that journey so you can actually see I didn't know what the next step was. The thing was, I just got started, right? And, and that's, that's really what I want for you guys is, is when you get stuck, just keep going. Do something. It doesn't matter. Don't, don't think too much about any one thing. Just do it. And if it's wrong, change it. And we've been guilty of that a lot, and I'm proud of that. So here's where it all started. Here's my three sons, right? Josiah, 16 years old. He just got his driver's license. I have, like, kind of heart palpitations the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Every time I get a text from him, I'm like, oh, shoot, please, like, Please, <laughs> he didn't hit something. And then uh, Noah in the middle. In two weeks, he's going to be 14. And then Jonah over on the right, he's 11. And I have a beautiful wife, Kim, who's not in this picture, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> happily married. And we're celebrating our 20th wedding anniversary in June. So, so just, just couldn't be more blessed. But the story doesn't start when they looked like this. Let's go to when the story started. The story started when they look like this, okay? This is in 2009, and they're playing with a sprinkler toy I had built that I call the Crazy Spray. And so you plug it into the hose out front, this was our house, and it's mist water down, and they can ride their bikes through it, they could ride their scooters through it, and they just always had a great time. And so I would snap photos like this all the time, and it, I don't even think at the time it was an iPhone, it was, I don't know what camera that was, but neighbor kids would come over and want to play with it. And then the parents of those neighbors would come over and say, hey, Kenny, where can I buy one of these? And, and so I thought, I'm in a desk job. I'm a software developer. I want some fun on the weekends and maybe, maybe make some extra money. So maybe I could sell these things. I could, it's kind of fun to build. I can build them and sell them. And then I just realized that's way, way too hard to start a physical <laughs> product business. And I'm going to order a bunch of PVC pipe and cut it and paint it and ship big boxes, and I was like, there's no way. And so I'm like, okay, what if I film some videos and I teach people how they could do this on their own? I give them a nice PDF checklist on the, what to buy at Home Depot, how to put it together. It could be a fun project to build with your kids. I'm going to do this. And I went online to sell the videos, and there wasn't a way to do it. There was, 
ways you could hack it together, and I got it to work, and I actually sold some crazy spray plans, which was kind of awesome. But I learned something. My, my life's work wasn't going to be to build sprinkler toys or to teach people how to build kids' car wash toys or whatever you want to call it. It was bigger than that, right? So here's lesson number one. It's just what I thought I was after wasn't really what I was really after. So what I wanted to do was help other people take their knowledge and sell it online. And so that became my focus. And so Kajabi Classic was born. Who remembers Kajabi Classic? Okay. Wow. Let's hear it for Kajabi Classic. <laughs> That's how I feel about it too. Yeah. Looking back, it was ugly, right? But it worked. So in 2010, we launched Kajabi Classic, and it caught on quickly. There were so many people out there that, well, sorry, I said so many people. There was, there was a group of people out there <laughs> that, that were already selling information online. So it wasn't like a new thing, but they were hiring developers, and they were spending hours and hours to get just a simple course online, and they were reinventing the wheel every single time they had to sell something. And so Kajabi Classic came onto the scene, and we showed it to them and said, look, this is a point-and-click, simple way that you can get your content out there and consumed by your customers. And so it really caught on quickly, and so we launched a big fanfare in 2010. And uh, this screenshot, by the way, is Brendan Bouchard's High Performance Mastery course. He's going to be speaking this weekend. I'm so excited for you to hear Brendan. But this is his original High Performance Master's class. And back at the time, uh, you know, he and I would be on the phone just, just late at night coding together and, and customizing the page. And it's just so surreal to look back on that time in my life. But this was Kajabi Classic. But then we learned something because we've always, every step of the way, we've watched our customer. We've watched their businesses. And we wanted to really look what problems are they running into. How can we help our customers? We didn't want to assume that we know what's best for our customers at every turn. We just want to kind of get out of the way and guide them to success however they defined it. And so one thing we learned with Kajabi Classic, and here's kind of where we had gotten it wrong before, is you can't really sell something online if you don't have any support for marketing whatsoever. You can't just put up a buy button and hope that people are going to find it and click it. right? And so we kind of took a detour. We had nice cash flow coming in from Kajabi Classic, and we said, you know what? We're going to do a project, and we're going to try to create a simple way to help people market. Does anybody know what that was? Anybody remember back what it was called? Megaphone. megaphone. I heard it. Megaphone. We created Megaphone. And Megaphone was a dirt simple way to create high performing landing pages. And I love Megaphone. I mean, even looking at the screen, it just brings back so much memories because it was a leap ahead in terms of graphic design and usability and being able to work on a mobile device. It was a leaps and bounds ahead of Kajabi Classic, and people loved it. Brendan Bouchard started putting a bunch of stuff on there, and a bunch of our other friends were using it, and it was great. And we saw it filling a need for marketing. And then, you know, I started getting itchy. I was like, well, why does Megaphone look so good and work so well, and it's so fast and speedy, and Kajabi Classic seems like it's a little slow and a little bit hard to use and all this other stuff. And so I was like, man, I, I wish we could have an easy, simple way, like Megaphone, to build online courses. That's where Kajabi Next came on. We were on this quest to simplify, and Kajabi Next was born. And you'll see a screenshot here of the crazy spray. I actually took the old videos I had shot back in whenever that was, 2009, on the crazy spray, and I put them in Kajabi Next just kind of like to pay homage. Oh, homage? I don't even know how to say that word. I don't know why I said it. Never said that in my life. I, I never said that word in my life. I don't know why I just said it. <laughs> and, Kajabi Next was born, and it was an easy point-and-click way to create online courses. And payment processing was built in, and you could just set a price, you could upload some videos, and you can sell courses. And I was like, this is great. Now we've got the marketing covered with Megaphone. We've got the courses covered with Kajabi Next. We're good. And then we continued our quest to listen to our customers, to watch our customers, to ask them, what are your roadblocks? What are you running into that's causing you to not reach the level of success that you want? And do you know what the pain point they were having was? They needed a sandwich, okay? They needed a sandwich. All this work, and they were hungry. No, they, they 
were told by us that in order to be successful, that you basically just think of it like you needed a sandwich. But Kajabi, and, uh, Kajabi Next and Megaphone, it was only providing the two slices of bread. There's all this other stuff that you really needed to build a business, especially an online business, that we weren't providing. And so our customers were flailing around and they were trying to integrate different softwares together and they were trying to find out which third parties that they needed to use. And, you know, they were trying to figure out and add up all the costs of all of these different tools to figure it out. And so we realized, you know, there's so many things they need to do to be successful. How are they going to nurture an audience? How are they going to communicate with an audience? How are they going to build a website to be the home base for their brand? Where are they going to send people? Sure, you, you can have some beautiful landing pages, but how are you going to really just build a brand if you want to be a legitimate, serious business? How are you going to automate your business, right? So when you start getting customers, you don't want to be pushing the buttons and doing all this individual work all the time. You want, you want some automation to get rid of the monotony. Who, oh, how are they going to do webinars and live events? And, and there's so many things that they needed. And so once again, Kenny kind of throws a monkey wrench in the whole company and everybody says, wait, what's going on? And I said, what if we started over? All right, what if, <laughs> it, it seems really silly to do this, but I'm kind of glad we did. But we said, what if we started over, and what if we could start over from scratch and take everything we had learned this entire time and build a sandwich? And so the Kajabi that you guys know and love was born, right? November of 2015, Kajabi was born. So who is a founder here? Awesome. You guys have seen me say it in so many videos Every November when it comes time, the founders, uh, you know, are renewing and we go out and just express our love for you guys. And, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You guys took a chance, right? We're this company that didn't have it all together. We came out with Kajabi and we didn't know if there's going to be crickets, right? And you guys jumped on board, you signed up, and you went all in. And that's just awesome. And the fact that you're here today since 2015, that's truly incredible and I'm grateful. So we had this software platform. We had Kajabi. And then we, we ask us ourselves more questions. We're like, well, what did we just build, right? We're not going to call it a sandwich. We can't go market and say we, we're selling sandwiches. And, and so I had read this book called Play Bigger. Have you guys heard of this book? Play Bigger. And it's all about how truly revolutionary companies, they create a category. And then they become the kings of that category. They own that category. And they're not just jumping into a lake, swimming with other fish. They create their own lake. And then, sure, some other people are going to jump in and start competing. But the truly revo revolutionary companies, they create that category, and then they own it. And I'm talking about guys like Salesforce. They created a brand new category. Um, here's some more. Uber created a category, and they're still the kings. They've got people nipping at their heels, but they're still the kings. Ikea created a category. And Amazon created a category. So around this time, we had the sandwich, and I read this book, and I'm like, we need to define a category. We need to say, what are we? What is Kajabi? I hear people calling us an online course platform. I heard so many different things at that time, and there wasn't a cohesive message. So then there was an aha moment. I'm like, you know what? Back to the crazy spray days, I wanted to sell my knowledge, and I'm assuming that most of our customers just want to sell their knowledge too, and so we're going to call it a knowledge commerce platform. So we did that. You might have seen some material from us talking about knowledge commerce, and, and we uh, bought the .com. We never did anything with it. We own knowledgecommerce.com, and, and then I wasn't satisfied yet again. We because some stuff happened all this time since 2015 when we launched, we've been listening to you guys. We've been adding things. We've been looking for those pitfalls that you're experiencing, and we're trying to build tools to help you with those. And so I just want to go through some of the, the big ones because we've done a lot since we launched 2015. It's not like we're one of those companies that launches software at a big fanfare, and then they're just kind of quiet, and they just fix some bugs here and there, but it's just that's, that's what you got, and they move on to other things. No, this is... This is our life. And so in 2015, we introduced forms, landing pages, analytics, right? We launched before we had forms or analytics or, or <laughs> landing pages. It's just crazy. I can't believe we did that. Um, we, then in 2016, email campaigns. We did a point and click, the premier page builder. We added multiple currencies, right? We've, we've got customers all over the world and we didn't support multiple currencies. How, how crazy are we? But we just didn't, didn't build it in in time in the beginning. Um, multiple languages, same thing. 2017, pipelines. We started accepting PayPal 
letting you guys accept PayPal. We did events, webinars, assessments. And then in 2018, it was a big year, we added automations. We added customer segmenting. There were people segmenting. We added order bumps. We improved the checkout process. We did pipelines editor and closed captions on our videos. And so it's just crazy looking back at this list because we didn't have it all together when we launched Kajabi. We didn't say, we're not going to launch until it's all perfect. We just got going. And then we said, hey, we're just going to try to improve along the way. And that's what you guys need to do, too, with your business. I see so many people getting in their own way, right? They're just, oh, I need to wait till it's perfect. I need the perfect videos. I need the perfect copy. I, you know, I need something instead of just launching something. We just launched something and just hope for the best and then knew and committed to ourselves that we were going to be there supporting it and, and adding and iterating. And so... It wasn't over yet. We, we noticed something, right? We noticed from you guys um, and, and the customers that were having success, it wasn't all just about selling their knowledge. You might remember the opening screen, the dashboard. It might even still be this way, and we're going to talk about how that's changing a little bit later, but it kind of just ushered you, hey, you go sign up for Kajabi, and you're going to build a product, and it just tries to push you into building a product because it just assumes that that's what you're here for. But we started looking at our customers, and there's so many people having success with Kajabi that that wasn't the first thing they wanted to do. They wanted to go in and build a brand. They wanted to build a website. They wanted to start building a list. There's so many things. Maybe their end goal is to share their knowledge and to sell it, but that's not necessarily the first thing. And so the category, knowledge commerce platform. We're like, are we really a knowledge commerce platform? We looked at some customers, and we have some big name customers that weren't even selling anything at the time, but they're, they're building their business, and they're relying on Kajabi for their business. And so we decided we're an online business platform, right? We just want to exist to empower entrepreneurs, experts, and influencers. That's what we want to do. We don't define ourselves by the features we built or the platform we built. We define ourselves by our need to get success for our customers. And it's not just about the features, right? Features aren't going to make you successful. And I think you know that because that's why you're here and that's why you're in this room, right? We're not the ones that are going to be, check out all our new features and we're blasting features at you and we're, we're adding stuff. We, I love features and I love improving the platform and I always continue, uh, I'm going to continue to do that, but it's not that. And, and we like to think that just Kajabi as a whole gives you superpowers. We, we see it all the time. I love to be in our Facebook group. And I see posts all the time of people that talk about their journey. And they were here, and then Kajabi happened. And then now they're here, and they're so excited. It's not like they're listing all the specific features of Kajabi that, that helped them you know, get unstuck or do whatever. They're just saying, Kajabi gave me superpowers. And so we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep going.